Hey, how are you guys? It's Dude from Ukraine. Today we'll be taking a look at the Sport Shell Convertible for iPad by Marware. I want to thank Jose at Marware for sending this out. He's been sending out products for review uh, for quite some time now, and I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for supporting my channel. And uh, here it is. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. Here it is, just nice blue packaging. <laughs> and uh, there's the case itself. This is a 4 in 1 case, just shows you how it works. Just a little bit of instructions, I guess, right there. So I'm going to set that aside. And there's the case itself, it's already in its uh, standing mode, I'm going to show you that in a little bit, but there it is, there's the case, looks really awesome, uh, it is kind of a two part case, there's the other piece, as you know, my review for the sports shell for the iPhone, I love that case, this works kind of pretty much the same way, but this one does include a clear piece, or you can use this, uh, just not a clear piece, and you can insert it and it will look like that just plain it, the iPad will be like a stealth mode kind of all dark and everything so that's kind of neat if you like that for me I prefer the clear version better just because it shows again the Apple logo the iPad kind of keeps the aluminum look as well and uh, the screen as you can see dark right here and then there's some kind of, kind of some little bit of kind of color I guess to it right there on the top you'll notice the Marware logo right there and a Marware logo on this um, strip right here this is pretty useful uh, you can just put your hand like this and kind of gives you a little bit more grip, more support when you're holding the iPad. So it's kind of neat, a little bit different. If this was a little bit more stretchier, um, it probably wouldn't be as tight on your hand like this. But it could, you could be using this as a seat, uh, like a put it around your seat and your iPad will hang there. So that would be kind of cool. But again, then the whole hand thing wouldn't really work out. So it's a little bit different. Also, on the back, there's four, two feet on the bottom right here right here and there's two feet on the other side right here these are smaller feet right there you, they just pop out like so so that's really cool a little bit different I'm gonna demonstrate these ones first these are the larger feet and how it works you just set your iPad down like so and there it is you can play apps you can watch a movie perfect movie uh, position I really like it it's not like this it's not like too much down I think it's perfect when you set it down on your table or it's really nice I really like that the downside is when you're playing apps or something like that if you want to touch the screen as you can see it's a little bit shaky and if you push too hard it's gonna fall down like that so that's a pretty big downside but the idea is really nice I really like the position of it the, the feet are just not strong enough to hold it down um, like that as you can see there's the side profile right there it looks like that so pretty cool and again Whenever you watch a movie, if you're like in Panera Bread or something, uh, people will see that it's an iPad and they're like, ooh, it's really cool, so stuff like that, if you really care about that. But um, putting the feet back, you kind of just have to pull this little piece back, and it, they just fit in place and they snap on. The bottom feet, really cool as well. These work a little bit differently. The, you do not stand it like so, because it's going to fall. But these are for kind of like the laying down mode. You flip the iPad, you lay it down, and it gives you a little bit of elevation, as you t can tell right there it gives you a little bit of elevation so you can type it, it's perfectly normal to type I think it's more comfortable to type like that than um, if the iPad just lays down flat so we're gonna flip it we're gonna tap this is uh, the pages and uh, let's type so we're gonna type hey guys what's up and I'm not standing directly in front of the iPad so it's not as comfortable but it's still really comfortable I really like the typing feature it's really nice um, these feet are fine, you know, they don't fall down or anything like that, but it's a really nice feature, I really like that. So, uh, it's a pretty nice case, it's made out of uh, hard plastic, and uh, very smooth, it, it's not, you know, it's not like catching on to you or anything like that, it's very smooth, really nice plastic. The back does scratch, the clear does scratch, and uh, what's really cool again, instead of uh, having, if you don't want to see the Apple logo, you can put a 5x7 picture in of your family or your logo or your, just anything you want, and uh, you'll have that there, so you can put a background of Las Vegas or something if you like that, or some kind of paradise, kind of give you a custom uh, look to it, to the case and to the iPad, so it's pretty cool, this case will run you 60 bucks, um, now my final thoughts on this case, I don't, I'm not sure if I would pay $60 for it, it's a great case, has good potential with it, there's four different features with it, but I think it just needs some work, um, like for example these feet right here, they need some work for sure, just because you know they're not very sturdy, Fall, the iPad falls down really easy. But um, the other feet are very nice, the ports, the headphone jack ports, 
perfectly fine. The sleep wake button, it's a little hidden in there, but uh, you can press it pretty easy. It's no problem with that. The side right here, the volume rocker, is pretty easy to press. Again, uh, this piece right here hangs out a little bit out there, so might not be as perfectly comfortable for your finger, but it, it does work. And uh, there's the vibrate switch. The vibrate switch is a little bit hard to reach. You kind of have to reach in there with your nail when it's to, uh, to the left side, right there. So that's kind of a uh, downside, I guess. This plastic piece right there is just kind of hanging out a little bit. On the bottom, the speaker is perfectly open and the dock connector is perfectly open as well. This case does work with uh, clear body shields. As I have a uh, casemate clear armor for the iPad on the back and the front. Works perfectly fine. There is a tiny lip on it. It's going to be hard to show you guys, but there is a tiny lip on it so you you do have a kind of lay on table design so there it is just a quick look at the uh, Marware sports shelf for the iPad and uh, again very nice case it, I think it does need a little bit of work and uh, I don't think I would pay 60 bucks for it maybe 40 bucks probably would be a better price for it but 60 is just a, a bit high for it but thanks for watching thank you so much for Marware for sending this out Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you like this case, check it out. You know, if I might not like a couple of features, you might like it. So, you know, just take a look. Thanks for watching.